Ezra chapter 10. While Ezra was praying and confessing, weeping and throwing himself down before the house of God, a large crowd of Israelites, men, women and children gathered around him. They too wept bitterly. Then Shechaniah, son of Jehiel, one of the descendants of Elam, said to Ezra, We have been unfaithful to our God by marrying foreign women from the peoples around us. But in spite of this, there is still hope for Israel. Now, let us make a covenant before our God to send away all these women and their children in accordance with the counsel of my Lord and of those who fear the commands of our God. Let it be done according to the law. Rise up. This matter is in your hands. We will support you. So take courage and do it. So Ezra rose up and put the leading priests and Levites and all, the, all Israel under oath to do what had been suggested. And they took the oath. Then Ezra withdrew from before the house of God and went to the room of Johanan, son of Elashib, Eliashib. While he was there, he ate no food and drank no water because he continued to mourn over the unfaithfulness of the exiles. A proclamation was then issued throughout Judah and Jerusalem for all the exiles to assemble in Jerusalem. Anyone who failed to appear within three days would forfeit all his property, in accordance with the decision of the officials and elders, and would himself be expelled from the assembly of the exiles. Within the three days, all the men of Judah and Benjamin had gathered in Jerusalem, and on the twentieth day of the ninth month, all the people were sitting in the square before the house of God, greatly distressed by the occasion and because of the rain. Then Ezra the priest stood up and said to them, You have been unfaithful. You have married foreign women, adding to Israel's guilt. Now make confession to the Lord, the God of your fathers, and do his will. Separate yourselves from the peoples around you and from your foreign wives. The whole assembly responded with a loud voice, You are right. We must do as you say. But there are so many people here and it is in the raining season. So we cannot stand outside. Besides, this matter cannot take care, cannot be taken care of in a day or two because we have sinned greatly in this thing. Let our official act for the whole assembly. Sorry, let our officials act for the whole assembly. Then let everyone in our towns who has married a foreign woman come at a set time along with the elders and judges of each town until the fierce anger of our God in, in this matter is turned away from us. Only Jonathan, son of Ashiel and Jehaziel, son of Tigva, supported by Meshulam and Shebathiah, the Levite, opposed this. So the exiles did as it was proposed. Ezra the priest selected men who were family heads, one from each family division, and all of them designated by name. On the first day of the tenth month, they sat down to investigate the cases. And by the first day of the first month, they finished dealing with all the men who had married foreign women. Among the descendants of the priests, the following had married foreign women. From the descendants of Joshua, son of Josedach, and his brothers, Meseah, Eleazar, Jarib, and Gedaliah, they all gave their hands in pledge to put away their wives, and for their guilt they each presented a ram from the flock as a guilt offering. 
from the descendants of Immer, Hanani and uh, Zebediah from the descendants of Harim, Maesiah, Sia, Elijah, Shemaiah, Jehuel and Uzziah from the descendants of Pushur, Pashur, um, Elionai, Maesiah, Ishmael, Nathaniel, Josabad and Elash, Elasa among the Levites Josabad Shemaiah Keliah that is Kelita Petheha Judah and Eliezer from the singers Elishib Eliashib from the gatekeepers Shalom Telem and Uri and among the other Israelites from the descendants of Parosh Remai Isaiah Malaja, Mijamin, El Eliezer, um, Melkija, and Benaiah, from the descendants of Elam, Mataniah, Zechariah, Jehiel, Abdi, Jeremoth, and Elijah, from the descendants of Zatu, Elioni, Eliashib. Mataniah, Jeremoth, Zabad, and Aziah, from the descendants of Bedan, Jehonan, Hananiah, Zabayah, Athalai, from the descendants of Abi, sorry, Abani, Meshulam, Maluka, Maluch, Adea, Jasub, Sheel and Jeremoth, from the descendants of Pahath Moab, Adna, Kelal, Benaiah, Messiah, Mathaniah, Bezalel, Binuai, and Manasseh, from the descendants of Harim, Eleazar, Ishijah, Malkijah, Shemaiah, Shimeon, Benjamin, Maluk, and Shemaiah. Shamariah, from the descendants of Hashum, Mataniah, Matatha, Zabad, Eliphet, Jeremiah, um, Manasseh, and Shimael, from the descendants of Bani, Madi, Amran, Uel, Baniah, Berdea, Keluhi, Zaniah, Merimoth, Eliashib, Mataniah, Matanei, and Jesu, from the descendants of Binuwe, Shim, Shimea, Shalamiah, Nathan, Adiah, Makandabe, Shashiah, Shari, Azarel, Shalamiah, Shamariah, Shalom, Amariah, and Joseph, from the descendants of Nebo, Jeliel, Mathahiah, Zeb, Zabad, Zabina, ja, Jadiah, Joel, and Benaiah. All of these had married foreign women, and some of them had children by these wives. Again, <laughs> apologies for pronunciations of names.